Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, Brown Brownstone Men's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books ahead and final work cut off this coming Monday night. I don't even know if I should say Monday night anymore because final work cut off is all over the place. I'll just say this weekend up till Monday because depending on distribution, whether it's Lunar, whether it's Penguin House, whether it's Diamond, it's this weekend. So check with your LCS, check online, but the official cutoff I'm still going with is Monday night so I can pick one specific date. But I do have some great books to pick this week there's not many number ones i actually have some later issues in the series that i'm really liking i'm loving these series i'm loving to read them so we're going to put some of those picks in here got a deluxe hardcover book that we're going to talk about but i'm not going to waste y'all's time do me a favor real quick click that thumbs up button and if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel but we're getting right into it starting with image comics we get gunslinger spawn number two Issue number one just came out. A lot of people are loving it. I'm not a big Spawn fan, but I did love issue number one. And if you don't like the book, the covers are absolutely phenomenal. This one has that regular cover, but then there's also that regular price Brett Booth variant. So don't have the art for that right now, but you know it's always gonna be a banger. Definitely, if you're liking Spawn, if you're liking Gunslinger Spawn, issue number two hits FOC this weekend. Gotta get used to saying that. I'm still saying Monday night. This weekend. Monday. You know what I'm trying to say. And if that's not enough for you, also keeping with that Spawn universe, King Spawn number four hits FOC as well. So gotta throw that in there. If you're a Spawn fan, Gunslinger Spawn and King Spawn. Issue number two for Gunslinger. Issue number four for King Spawn. You gotta be careful how you say that. Definitely. I'll get in trouble. Moving on. Getting over to Marvel. Yes, I do have a lot of Marvel picks this week. Starting off, we get the X-Force Killshot Anniversary Special. This is a one-shot. Of course, if you like Marvel and you like covers, they never disappoint because this has a bunch of covers. Bunch of great covers, especially if you're an X-Force fan. But here we get a 30th anniversary issue of this awesome team. And we got Rob Liefeld writing this issue with Chad Bowers, but you also have Rob Liefeld drawing this issue. That's good or bad, whatever. X-Force, iconic Rob Liefeld. I give him kudos for that. Not the best fan of Rob Liefeld's art, but when it comes to X-Force, it's kind of like missing if you don't have him in there. But either way, 30th anniversary issue, it's gonna be oversized, a bunch of great covers for it. You can pick the one you like, go Pokemon style, collect them all, but here we have Cable reassembling the team, getting the band back together to take down Strife once and for all. Also from Marvel, we're getting a giant sized Black Cat Infinity Score number one. This is the culmination of the last two years of Black Cat with the Black Cat Destiny's Black Cat Infinity Score. And it's all coming down to this. She has a handful of Infinity Stones with great responsibility comes great power, but who gives a shit, right? It's Black Cat. And with the Infinity Stones, Thanos can't be far behind. But that's not why I like this book. I actually like this book for that Ji Hung Lee variant. Love the cover on that. Perfect, perfect illustration of Black Cat with that Infinity Gauntlet. I usually like J. Scott Campbell for Mary Jane Watson, Gwen Stacy, or Black Cat. But this Ji Hung Lee cover is absolutely phenomenal. And it's only $4.99. So for $4.99, haven't been reading Black Cat. I know there's people out there that have been reading it and they've been liking it, so that's awesome. I haven't been, but I like this cover. So I got another great cover pick later on in the video as well. We'll get to that. Also from Marvel, we get that Star Wars Crimson Rain issue number one. This is coming out of the War of the Bounty Hunter storyline, and this one has a bunch of covers for it too. Cover art isn't quite available for it yet, but there are some great artists attached to them, such as Raza, Clayton Crane, they are both known for their cover art. And 
Star Wars is probably one of the hottest properties in everything right now, thanks to Mandalorian. And we know there's another Mandalorian season. You got the Bubba Fett season coming. We all know Ahsoka's coming back. So there's a bunch of Star Wars to go around, not only in comics, but on the small screen and the big screen. They got movies in development as well. So Star Wars Crimson Rain issue number one is definitely one I'm adding to my pool list and of course hits FOC this weekend. Getting over to IDW, but staying within Star Wars. Yes, this is still my favorite Star Wars series and that is that Star Wars High Republic Adventures. Here we're getting issue number 10. So we're 10 issues in and the series is still very, very good. So I've got this in this video just to kind of remind people, hey, you, if you're not reading this, this is one that's definitely worth picking up. A fantastic story on this. Been loving it. Like I said, as many Star Wars books are out there, all those Marvel ones are great. The IDW one still remains my favorite, specifically this High Republic one. And in here we get an attack on a Jedi temple. And within this issue, you get one, one Padawan that unmasks their full potential and saves the day. Chuck one up for the heroes, little Padawan. Either way, man, great series, been loving this one. Let me know in the comments, are you guys reading this series? What do you think? I mean, I've liked all the IDW Star Wars Adventures series. At first they were kind of solicited more towards an all ages group, but that has since passed and people are loving it. So let me know what you guys think as well. Moving over to Boom Studios. That's right, this is issue number four. Talked about issue number one and issue number two but was absent for issue number three, but issue number four, and what series am I talking about? I am talking about Eat the Rich. I could talk about so many Boom series on here. Yes, I'm a Boom homer. I love Boom Studios. I've been collecting Boom titles for years, especially their old licensed properties. Love Sons of Anarchy. And for good reason, because within the past few years, Boom has been putting out so many hit titles, so many series for all types of readership fandom. I, mean, I don't care what you like. If you like Supernatural, if you like Superhero, if you like horror, if you like Boom Studios has something for everyone, all ages, kids, teenagers. They got the R.L. Stein stuff. They got the Disney Plus R.L. Stein going on right now. So if you haven't watched that show, definitely check it out. But I'm getting away from myself right now. Eat the Rich number four. Four issues in. Great series. You can go back and most likely pick up the first three issues. Maybe not issue number one, but they do have additional prints that come out. So you can pick them all up or wait, they're in issue number four. You know a trade paperback is coming soon and I will be sure to let you know when that hits final or a cutoff. But Eat the Rich, another great series, kind of like that. Us or Get Out. I mean, it's just crazy. So if you don't like those type movies, you might not like this series, but I definitely recommend pick up the first issue and see what you think. I love it. That's why Eat the Rich number four is also in this video. And speaking of Boom Studios, evidently the Something is Killing Children Deluxe hardcover slipcase has been allocated and people are going nuts over that. But Boom is doing everything they can to make it right. They've put out a press release for it. I'm here to let you know right now, there is another great book with a hardcover deluxe edition and it's hitting Final Order Cutoff this weekend. And we are talking about Once and Future. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to say this series is slept on because our people are well aware of it and the people that do read it really, really like it and for good freaking reason, but I don't think it's getting enough appreciation as it should, or I will caveat that with, or as it will, because I think this is a series that people are going to catch on to after the fact that haven't caught on to right now. And here we have deluxe hardcover edition. They got two different volumes. They got the regular hardcover and just like something is killing the children. They have that hardcover slipcase edition, MSRP $79. You can pre-order it right now online at comic book stores. That's the reason for this video. Get it in before it final order cut off. And that way you're not chasing it later on, especially if it goes on the secondary market and goes for value. I'm not saying it's going to go like something is killing children is because something is killing children is so popular. You just saw that with the print run for House of Slaughter number one, astronomical. Once in Future, just as great a series. The print run isn't small, but nowhere near something that's killing children. And here's a chance to get that story in one big digestive chunk in that hardcover deluxe edition. Kieran Gillen, love it, love it, love it. Like, and like I said with the previous books, if you've read this series, let me know your thoughts because I'm sure there's other ones out there that have been loving this just as much. And that's why I want to share that enthusiasm 
with you guys. And just like I said earlier, I did have one more comic book pick that is purely a cover art pick on here. And I absolutely love this cover. And it's a DC book. And we're talking about the Alexander Lozano. Yes, I might have butchered that names. I do that. Butcher names a lot, and I apologize. It's no meant to be disrespectful to the artists, the creators. I'm just horrible and hooked on phonics. And sometimes doesn't work for me. But Alexander Lozano, really hope I said that right. Justice League number 70. The cover on this is absolutely gorgeous. I want to pick this up, pre order, get a discount by pre order, and and that way it just comes to me or it's sitting in my pull box. Love the art style on here. I love that red cover kind of makes the rest of it pop. So Justice League number 70, Alexander Lozano, fantastic cover in my opinion, and I'm pre-ordering it. That's gonna kick me over into the additional printings. There might be more than what I found, but there are two that I wanted to make note of. Gun Honey, super popular series right now. Gun Honey number two is getting that awesome foil second print variant. So that's something to be on lookout for. Then that DC Black Label, talking about horror, we get that Soul Plumber number one also getting a second print. So there it is, guys. Let me know what books you guys are picking up that maybe I didn't even have in this video. Always love to hear what other people are collecting. And if you have a friend that might enjoy this video, do me a favor and share this out to them. With that being said, guys, this is Brown Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.